What is going on, everyone? This is your man, King May, coming back with y'all right here in the King May YouTube channel, y'all. Sorry it's been a while, but hey, we are hopping on the old Polaris 1000 here this morning. We just finished up milking, got chores done, TMR fed. We're going to get on after it here today, and hopefully we don't have any more distractions because well we need to continue on with our busy time of the year hopping up in the old 4455 now i got the vermeer baler hooked up here and we got net wrap topped off fuel is topped off we're gonna go ahead here now this morning and i did get out i checked the straw and it is looking good it's fairly dry anyways the damp is fairly well clearing up here this morning we're gonna get bailing on what we've got left for bailing right now and then we need to get after harvesting the last little bit of wheat that we have left here so hey if you haven't yet subscribed yet to the kingman community make sure you go ahead and tap that subscribe button and of course if you like today's video make sure you go ahead and tap that thumbs up button for me as well but we're gonna get out after it we're gonna see how bailing goes for us here this morning now just as an update we poorly timed cutting our hay you guys if you remember from the last video we ended up having a blade going bad we had to run into town we had to get a few new blades and get restocked up on that unfortunately rain ended up coming so as far as moisture wise we're looking good on straw right now but our grass is not looking good right now we're gonna get after bailing here we only have a little bit left probably like half of the field or so on this field anyways and then we got just a little bit from the middle there that we got to pick up on the way out because hey exclamation point b myers all right there we go got one lab done anyways for like i said a half the field there we're gonna go ahead and work our way back on this little partial row here all right and while we are at it let's go ahead and work up towards the combine here we might as well just try and get bailed what we can now eventually it would be nice to work into some sort of like a uh, john deere round baler here for westby with uh i don't know i don't know if a modder has made it yet or not i've been kind of looking around It'd be nice to have one of those round bale pickups to kind of hook on the back of a round baler so you can do essentially three round bales and once you have three round bales loaded on that on the back of the round baler then you could drop all three at the same time it would be nice make things a lot easier for picking up to be quite frank but we'll see we'll keep on looking out for that or hey let me know in the comment section below if you guys know of that mod being out and about just an update now we we did end up calling the cops i got a buddy that's a sheriff and uh i ended up just calling him and talking to him about karen's mom and the issues we've been having with her lately and especially after the last one where she <laughs> flat out came down into my field and uh he did say that uh, the restraining order is put through everything is good to go on that for me and uh pretty much just to call him let him know anytime if she does come back out and bother us now i did get a chance seeing how the rain kind of came uh, in between the rain i got the lawn mode so she really she can't have anything to complain about with my property anyway but there we go got straw finished up for right now anyways we're gonna have quite a bit more yet to do here on this last field of ours of wheat now i have been seeing quite a lot of updates coming for autumn oaks and if you guys know autumn oaks is another was another wisconsin map I did see that there was a different Wisconsin map that somebody else was working on as well. So very excited about Dennis modding and the work that he's been doing with his version of Autumn Oaks. I'm very excited for that. As you guys know, we've been playing a bit of that on 17. I'm thinking about actually progressing that into 19 just to make things a lot easier for me personally. It would help me out quite a bit, and I think we're going to go ahead and work on that. You guys let me know in the comments section if you are excited about that map coming out. Now, I think I might go ahead, transfer it, start going on 19 version of Autumn Oaks now, and then we will progress into Dennis Modding's version here once it comes out. All right, there we go. Got the Vermeer baler dropped there for right now. There is a little bit of a bale in it, but we're going to be getting on that later on here now we need to get this back on the tmr mixer for right now all right so just getting out here i just want to double check i could have done this while i was bailing but i ran a four-wheeler out here now i'm thinking we might need another hour or so just to let this wheat 
get the rest of the dew off of it here, I think it might be a little more beneficial for us here. It was fine for the bales, and I'm, I'm okay if there's just a little bit of moisture in these bales. You do want straw rather dry, but it has been awfully dry. It's been over 100 degrees there for a couple of weeks, and, well, we needed the rain, to be honest with you. We are rather dry here in Wisconsin, so that, uh, that straw is actually just about perfect, to be quite frank. All right, we just picked up our lime here. We're gonna go ahead and get on down to the tractor supply. Now I need some new bolts and whatnot, and I have a rim and tire that I'm just gonna kind of throw on here and get on back to the farm for the grain cart. I ended up having an unexpected issue with that, so it should be ready to go. I ordered it, so we're gonna go ahead and just pull right on in here. All right, so we got those parts that we needed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just strap them down on top of the old fuel tank here. I got some bungee straps should hold just fine for right now all right let's go ahead and fire the old girl up whoa oh my goodness i think she just backed up into me here let me go ahead and open up the window ma'am ma'am what are you doing oh nothing darling i'm just backing up can you get your spreader backed up a little more no, no ma'am you, you just ran into my spreader you're you're gonna have to move now at this point no, i don't know if i can move honey i just i don't know if i can do it well you're gonna have to because you just backed up into my tire so you're gonna have to pull ahead oh goodness okay honey let me go let me go ahead and try all right here we go oh oh goodness oh jeez. yeah i can you stay right there i need to call my buddy yeah, no problem, honey. I'll just stay right here. I'll tell you what, I'll just back it up a little bit more. Oh my, ma'am, you just backed in my interrogator again. Oh, sorry about that, honey. Yeah, I'll just pull right in right here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to get me another smoke, yo. Oh my goodness. Unit 10, I'm gonna be at 1023 at the old tractor supply here, pulling in for a domestic dispute. Hey, King, how's it going today, my man? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, my man. Hey, uh, you, you want to check on this older lady here, man? I I mean, I think I got minimal damage. She just, she hit my tire both times, thankfully. It looks like she didn't dent up the rim or anything, but uh, I really need to get back and get the spray, man. But you might want to check on her. She kind of backed into me twice and uh, backed in that old beater right over there if you want to go ahead and just check on her. Yeah, man, I can go ahead and do that for you. Just, uh sit tight for just a minute and uh, i'll get you going here pretty quick ma'am i'm gonna need to ask you to turn that van off and step on out oh what for honey i'm, I'm good right here if, you, it's, if that's fine i'll just stay right in here honey. no ma'am as far as i understand from this situation you need to go ahead and step out of the vehicle i need to do a, a few tests on you and just make sure you're good to drive here today all right honey i suppose i can just get on out here one sobriety test later Oh my good ma'am, you got a point one two. That is not good. All right, we're gonna just sit right tight there, ma'am. All right, hey King, I, I took care of it. As far as I understand, you're gonna be good to go, man. I already got your side of the store. I'll use that in my uh, paperwork, but you should be good to go, my man. All right, thank you, my man. I'm gonna go ahead and get going. All right, well, thank goodness I have my buddy on on CB. He told me the uh, station that I can get a hold of him on, and my goodness, it's it's awful nice being friends with people in the area man because uh <laughs> yeah it's it's just nice having friends there to be able to help you when you need it all right we're going ahead we're getting our spreading done here of lime on this field we got a pretty good reach on it it's getting out there quite a bit of a ways now i can't really see much with the interrogator but that's what the monitors are for to kind of let me know how the spreading is applying here hey king you got your ears on there my man yeah, buddy, what you uh, what you need? What you find out there? Oh uh, man, just want to let you know I uh, ended up giving her a DUI. Now, uh, not sure if you know this or not, but that actually was Karen's grandma. So uh, I don't know if you want a straining order on her now as well for, uh, I mean, busting up on your interrogator there. Well, uh, I'm not gonna lie, bud. I, you know. It, it's just kind of a minor incident for right now. I mean, maybe I should, just knowing the Karens and all, but uh, I think for right now, I'll probably be okay. If I have another run-in, though, we're probably definitely going to go and go and uh, pursue that, my man, if that's all right. All right, well, sounds like uh, Karen's actually got a grandma in town now as well. So 
it's a bit unfortunate, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is, man. We're just going to have to do whatever we got to do to uh, try and avoid these situations as best we can, man. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get the bungee straps off here and get the spare tire down here. Now, as you guys can see, I have myself a little bit of an issue with my J&M grain carts. And uh, thankfully, I was able to at least get it unloaded. <laughs> it was a bit of a challenge. Uh, I didn't have much in there. It was just a little bit. So we just kind of nursed it and dragged it <laughs> as best we could. Now, with that being said, I uh, ended up ordering up a new tie rod there and uh, grabbed ourselves a new axle. We're going to have to go ahead and get that all swapped out. And we ended up banging up the rim there pretty good. Just on the inner wheel, thankfully, the outside one is still good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll at least get this disconnected. I'm gonna have the wheel here for right now. It's just kind of sitting there and this is fairly flat ground. So we need to keep going for today. We'll get the 80-20 back on down on the field. All right, there we go. Got her disconnected. She's just gonna sit right there for right now and we got the tire ready to go. Firing up the old 8320 here. There we go. Let's get on down on the field, you guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, park up the other JM grain car we got and the 8320 here. And back off and at it we are, you guys. So with this being said, I'm gonna call this one a video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And hey, if if you liked it, make sure you go ahead, tap that thumbs up button for me. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Kingmate community, make sure you go ahead and do that for me now. But we're gonna keep on finishing harvesting wheat here for the rest of today. We're gonna get this all wrapped up and uh we should be good on bailing today as well i would assume seeing how well it's about midday now so we should be able to get this done fairly quick and hey thank y'all for watching and catch you on the next one peace